Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing Colouring in Women's Girls Through the Decades, our Flapper Girl, which we started in the last episode. Just a quick disclaimer, this channel is for adults. The videos on this channel are not made for or intended in any way, shape or form for children. So we're going to carry on with the bottom of her dress. Here we go, and then we're going to do the patterns, and then we'll start the background, which I won't do the whole background on camera because it's going to get very, very, very boring, okay? So, we want a dark blue and the light blue that we were using. So this is how we're going to do this. So we'll just do a bit there, and a bit there. So, how are you? Are you all okay? How are you keeping at the moment? I hope you're all having a lovely August. Can't believe it's August already. Even though we're stuck at home, the year is flying by. Have you been colouring much in the last week? Or are you too busy doing other things because the weather's not too bad? I mean, over here, it's supposed to be really nice the rest of this week I mean it was a bit rain this evening but it's supposed to get hotter and hotter until it's absolutely boiling on the weekend and uh, when that happens we will be getting into our paddling pool it's out ready it's not filled it's all been cleaned ready I've got uh, some chlorine we've got a cover on it so hopefully we will be able to uh, get out and uh, enjoy the paddling pool and cool off and have some drinks and splash about with Jennifer which is always fun so. today which is Wednesday I'm actually filming this on Tuesday so it hasn't yet but today we will be going to see her new nursery hopefully which is in Riska, which is where we live. There's a nursery opening just down the road. So I'm hoping that it's going to be a nice one. And um, it looks very nice. It's brand new. It looks absolutely stunning. And I'm really looking forward to having a look at it to see uh, what sort of facilities they've got and, you know, have a chat um, about her going and see what she thinks. Because I think at the moment she wouldn't want to go. <laughs> because um, she's so used to us all being home and it's, she's getting really shy again so it's a matter of trying to uh, see how she'll get on with it because she is getting quite shy because of course for the last, well since the end of middle of March it's just been me and Paul and in the last couple of weeks or the last few weeks her nana and granddad as well so she's just not used to people anymore which is a shame because she was doing really well previously she loved everybody at her nursery but the way it's going we're not going to be going back to the office anytime soon and I just wouldn't be able to get her to work and back I suppose we could go and work in the office it'd just be very lonely and at least here I've got Paul for company because they don't think they'll be going back till January but we don't know they might change we'll have to see what happens I think it's harder on the kids because they don't understand what's going on especially the youngsters it's hard not to see their friends and go out, be able to go out and play when we were in full lockdown and you're only allowed out the once a day for a little bit of exercise and you couldn't meet anybody from another house it's, been, it's so hard on them so I'm just going to leave that bit to dry because the only thing with these markers is they do take a while to dry so I'm just going to do this bit now I like this picture Lots of good stuff coming up on the channel, lots more first impressions. I've got some more budget-friendly videos to uh, 
both put up and film because I well I've got to film them I haven't put them up yet so hopefully there'll be lots of good stuff coming your way fairly soon that was weird it went all a bit strange I don't know what happened there I think it's me I'll just colour it all in this colour for now and make it that's the good thing with these things you can do what you want the colouring books the colouring books are yours to colour how you feel and you can change things which is what I've done here somehow and I'm not actually sure how I did that but hey I'll just put a little bit in there and some extra bit, bit around there put those bits in there there put that bit there put that around there yeah that was a bit weird that's just me I think <laughs> I don't think it's the picture I think it's just me being a bit dull you know what it's like sometimes when you you're not paying 100% attention, so. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to colour that in dark blue. The patterns are nice, but they're not really necessary. I can put a pattern in silver over the top if I want to. And I can then put this bit here, which is the top of the glove here, and then it matches. That's better. Okay, and I'll do the fan. And again, I think I'm going to have the same problem here. The armor. I'm just going to do it like that for now. And uh... <laughs> oh dear. Somebody's being very noisy outside, they? Oh dear, what's going on? But yeah, there was that big explosion today, wasn't there, in Beirut? There's people dead and I know some people saying it's a fireworks factory or something. It's in the docks at the port. There's huge explosions, terrible. I haven't really seen any information about it other than what I've read on online just simply because um, I've been having, you know, had a shower and been doing other things. I haven't had a chance to watch the news but I'll have a look at it tomorrow. And it's awful. I always, oh, I hate it when things like that happen because it's just so sad. This one I will keep the pattern on. Well, so yeah, I've been to mum and dad's. I ordered another Judy Garland book. It's only a small one by a man named Paul Donnelly. It's just a very brief overview. It's not very big. It won't take me long to read it when I get stuck into it. And I was looking at it. Um, I opened it up and it only cost me like, like £2.50. I still have my feedback for it. I got it on eBay. It was about £2.50 and when I opened it up it was actually signed by the author as well, which is really cool. I think that's great when that happens, you know. I just wanted the book to help complete my collection. I'll put some silver in this as well, I think. Um, yeah, I just wanted uh, it to complete my collection. I wasn't really after anything else. Go back to the bottom now with the other blue, which is the blue we used on the main dress. Um, so it was that was a nice surprise. There's one book I've got to get that I had once and I lost it, um, and that was Anne Edwards' biography, which isn't a brilliant one, but I still want it so I can complete uh, the collection. There's still a few I'm missing, obviously, but I'm working on my way of, of getting as many of them as I can. Um, like I said, I've got so many on Marilyn Monroe now, and I still buy them if the new ones come out, if it's something interesting. If it's and if it's also if it's by a author I respect and like, such as obviously if Michelle Morgan does another Marilyn book, which I'm sure she will, then I'm going to buy it. No questions asked. I'm not even going to wait till you know. I'll probably get a review copy anyway, but I'm not going to say I'm not getting it. I'm, I'll wait and see what other people think. I know I'm going to get it. Same as if Gary Vitico Rubles um, did another one. I would get that without question. So, yeah. 
I do love reading. I just don't get much chance with all the colouring and I love to colour. And I don't get much chance to do that much except for late at night. Because I'm so busy with Jennifer all the time. Sometimes I colour outside when we're playing and she likes to colour with me. But I haven't been doing that lately. Don't know why. It just hasn't happened. So maybe I'll get the colouring stuff downstairs tomorrow. Just some felt tips and a pattern book. And then she can get her colours out and either just scribble on a piece of paper or she can colour in one of her books. She does like watching Mummy colour in, just that when she's colouring she wants me to help her, which is fair enough. Um, she wants me to start it off. She likes watching me colour. And she's got a thing for my glitter gel pen, so I keep my expensive Sakura Jenny rolls up here. And my Arteza ones at the moment, because... Yeah, and I let her play with these. And to be fair, they have got, hopefully this week, in Lidl's, they might have their gel pens in that they get every now and again. So I'm going to get a few packs of them. And I might get her a pack for a Christmas stocking, to be honest. I'm starting to get stuff for a Christmas stocking now. Get her a nice pencil case and gel pens, some more felt pens and stuff. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I, I think I might. I'm definitely going to get myself two packs because I've used them before and I really like them and then I didn't have them in for ages and I'd used up most of the glitter ones and I'm like, no! And they had they had light greens in them as well. I missed a bit in that. Hang on. Sometimes I can't see the gaps until I move the page, so... So yeah, I'm hoping to get two packs for me and a pack for Jen, which will be a fabulous, because uh, she does like that, she likes the playing with glitter pens, and to get the ink out it, it forces her to actually hold the pen correctly, which is nice, because she doesn't with the pencils and the pens yet. Because if she can get colour out of them, she doesn't worry about it. But with the glitter pens, you have to hold them properly to get the ink out. So in a way, it forces her to to colour correctly. Shows her how to hold a pen. So I quite, that's why I don't mind her having them. Oh, I missed a bit on her dress. Hang on. And again, I'm just going to colour this in all dark blue just to give it a bit different. Let me just pull it down so you can see it. It's just this bit here. I love this colour blue. I really love it. And they do have these back in stock on Amazon now. And they're Link Shine ones. They went out of stock for a while. And they're back in. So I am going to order some more. Because I do like the colours. The only thing like I say is missing is a lighter green. But I'll have a light green in the new ones from Lidl's hopefully. But I'll just keep those sealed until I actually need them. And that's what was happening. I was keeping them sealed. And then I was using up the gold more than any other colour. But again the gold in the other ones are nice as well. So let's do the fan. Uh, yes, we'll again we'll just do this all oh, this one colour. Does blend a bit into her her gloves, but that doesn't matter. Ooh, I wish I was her. She's all really, 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 really glittery and pretty and ready to go to a party. It's not fair. I wanna go to a party. So that bit I'll do silver. The fun bit's going to be when we do the background. Oh my life. Oh yeah, that is going to be fun. You wait. It's going to be very sparkly. Okay. 
So I'm still working my way through all the completed pages and holes that you guys have put up. If you've put one up, I will try and get to it. Like I said, I always say, if you have a channel, leave a link to it down below. Let me know. Say, I have a channel. And I will, I will go and check it out. Absolutely no question. I would love to check out your channel if you've got one. Because, you know, you can never, never, never have enough colouring channels. Never. Never have enough of them. That's what I think anyway. There we go. So, oh, the background. <laughs> I'm going to have to let this dry for a bit, so I'm going to turn the camera off for five minutes while it dries, and then we'll start the background. Okay, that should be fine now. So we're going to start on the background. As you can see, there's bits of um, ticker tape coming down, and we're going to use lots of different colours for that. We've got orange, we've got light green, we've got red, we've got pink, we've got purple, we've got silver, we've got gold. Basically, every colour can use. Obviously blue, but I'm not going to use the blues because there's so much blue on the page already. So what I'm going to do is just randomly start colouring in bits of ticker tape. There won't be too much gold because there will be a lot more gold on the page a bit later on. And the reason I'm doing this bit first is because I'm going to do the background in a different colour, in one block colour. So there's that colour. Let's use this purpley pinky colour. Oops, this one's running out I think. I think that has run out. Yep, yeah, that one's gone. All right, hang on. Where's my empty pens bag? Let's see how many I go through in the second half of the year. Was that pink or was that purple? That was purple, wasn't it? I've got another one here. Exactly the same colour. So I don't know if you'll be able to see me do all of these because they're all over the page. So I'll put one here. And we got pink here. So we'll do a bit of pink there. Yeah, you won't see all of this because it's all over the place, but as you can see from this, I'm just putting in little blobs of colour on some of these ticker tape pieces. Like so. So you'll see some of them as I go in and you'll see others. And we'll have a few green ones because I've got a nice green here. That's a nice green. Try not to touch it because this stuff sometimes stays really wet and sometimes they don't. So, so far we've got bits of, of colour all over the page so you won't see it unless I'm really colouring in this area. I'll have a bit of orange. So, yeah, I mean, this one's, I'm really enjoying this picture. I, mean, I love Hannah Lynn anyway, I love her pictures. She's one of my favourite artists and I just think she's so fantastic her art is amazing that oh, I just have to have her books um, silver yeah I have to have them they are that beautiful they are just so stunning that's a nice purple. Let's try this. Oh, that one uh, fell apart. Hang on a second. See if I can put it back together. I think this is one of the ones Jennifer had. Hang on. Oh. Right, let's just see if that one will work. Yeah. It's quite a nice colour. Slightly different to the other purple, not a lot. I'm not going to colour them all in. I'll leave them like that and I'll, I'll carry on with the background. And I'm just going to colour the background in with black glitter pen. There's going to be a lot of black on this now because um, there's going to be a lot of black and a lot of gold. And so I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it and just start up on the top here in this corner and it's all going to be black here. I was thinking about doing some of these lines black as well but I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do them gold and then put uh, black in the some of the other patterns because technically I am doing some of them black because there they are look <laughs> you can't see them there you go so let's just do here 
So this is going to take a while because it's all going to be black. So that's why I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to do a little bit up in this corner just to show you. And I'm going to try where I haven't coloured in the ticker tape to leave them and I'll fill them in later. So there's one there. If I was putting my hand on it, I could smudge some of it. So you see I've left little holes and that'll be where the ticker tape is hiding that I haven't yet coloured. So this is my plan. I'm going to colour it like this. And the whole background is going to be black. So it will take me a little bit of a while to do it, but this is something I can do at any time, just here and there while I'm watching TV and chilling out, just to finish it off. So this is going to be another short episode, I'm afraid. Now I've never, I wanted to put some shading on her with pencil. And I've never done that and I'm so terrified of ruining her. So, that. I do have my prismas up here, so maybe I will do some of that. So, as you can see, it's all going to be black behind her. And then you'll have all the bits of ticker tape coming, coming down. Oh, it's making my hand hurt already. That's the only problem. I might try and do a bit of her um, skin with the, the prismas in a minute. I'll get them out. So that's how that's going to go. And then I'm going to get my gold from the Link Shine. And all these crossbars, these bars are all going to be gold. So it's very Art Deco, very opulent. So obviously it would take forever to colour this like this on there. And you don't really want to see me just colouring in lots of gold and black stripes. The only time where it's going to be a bit different is when we hit these sun patterns here and here. But again, it's only going to be black and gold. So, and then we'll do the same on this section. And then we'll do the thin lines across as well like that. So that'll be gold. And so it'll all go like that. So what I'm going to do now is get the pencils out and see if we can do um, a little bit of shading on her face and skin. Um, something I've never done before, so wish me luck. Okay, so I've got the Prisma colours out and we're going to do a little bit under here just to see if we can get a bit of shading. I've never done this, so I have absolutely no idea how it's going to look. It might wreck it. It might make it look really good. It's just that, you know, you've got to try new things because, you know, if you don't try new things, how are you ever going to learn? And I'm not saying, I mean, I quite like leaving them as they are. But, you know, she would have had a bit of rouge on her face. She wouldn't have just gone out with a blank face. She would have had at least a little bit of pink. So I'm just looking for a nice pink. What colour is that? What is it? Rose. Rose. We'll do a little bit of rose just on it. She's got a lot of sparkle on her, I'll admit that. So we're just going to... Yeah, so she put a bit of rouge on her. I always worried that I'm going to make my faces far too dark. But, yeah, that looks alright. I mean, obviously there's a lot of sparkle on her face as well. What else? Uh, what's this one? It's a very light pink. Deco peach. I think that was too light. What's this one? Rose Coquelage. Oh, seashell pink. That's a nice colour. 
is just to give it a little bit of definition and even out the um, ink a bit. I quite like the, the blusher, it looks very good. Can I just give her a little bit of um, eyeshadow with argyle rose or clay rose? I think that'll do on now. We'll just do a little bit down on her legs here so that uh, looks more like she's wearing some kind of stockings. I enjoying this one I am. I know there's still a heck of a lot to do but I really just think that you're not even seeing what I'm doing, I do apologise. That if I was to colour the entire black bit or all of it in, you'd get very bored. So I will colour in this one of the suns so you can see what I intend to do. And I just think there we are, that makes her legs look a bit more like she's wearing some kind of stocking or because they would have worn stockings. more definition there. There's a pencil missing from in here. Oh, I, I don't, actually I don't think there is. I think that's just the way it's been set because yeah, that's a big one. There shouldn't be one there. Yeah, it's just one's in the wrong place, that's all. So I'll show you what I plan on doing with the sun. I'll put those away in a minute. So I'll get my black and my gold again. So the sun is this, well these, these things. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to colour in behind some black like I'm going to with the rest of the background as you see why I like these pens can't you and I'm not the only one I know other colorists that use them as well they're so very very juicy oops excuse me I just hit the camera my turban because I've not long had a shower there we are Obviously I'll go back over it if I've missed any bits, which I'm bound to because I can't see it all. So, like this. And I'll do this on both sides because there's one on each side. This page is really going to sparkle and shine. Probably too much. But any excuse to use the glitter gel pens, that's what I say. Because as far as I'm concerned, you can never have enough glitter in your life. At the moment I can see a little bit of where I've missed some. And then on this bit, I'm just going to do every other section, like so. So it's going to take me a few days to finish this myself. There's no way we'll finish this on camera. Now somebody has asked for me to colour the Ladies in Nature Grayscale book. Elena Lazareva. So we'll be doing that one next, which is grayscale. So I think we'll probably try the Prismas, I think. I've not done grayscale with Prismas, so we will do Prismas. And then we're just going to do this bit with the gold. This is a very short colouring chart today. It's about 21, 22 minutes, maybe a bit longer than that. I'm going to do it like that. So 
so she has gone to a very posh party. This young lady, very posh. And the old be gold as well. Very posh party, this girl. So I'm going to use up a lot of gold and black on this. I'm probably going to have to order some link shines very, very soon. It says, I love this gold. It's so beautiful. I'm glad they're available. I'll probably order four packets in one go. You can buy the silver and the reds in packets of, I think, five or ten, but not the golds. If it was the golds, I would just buy the golds and the reds because they're the colours I, I use the most. And the reason I bought it was because I wanted something with a really, really juicy red. And I was finding the gel pens weren't really ju juicy enough in the glitter reds. So I tried these because I thought they looked quite good. And then I was amazed by them. Um, yeah, so I can get the red ones, but I can only get, I can't get the golds. If I could get the golds on their own, I would just buy a packet of those because they are fantastic. So you can see what the plan is for the background. So I'm actually going to cut this short. We don't need to, to do the rest of it on camera. I'll carry on colouring. I can't even speak this myself. And then in the next colouring chat, which I think will be Sunday... I want to say we'll start in Ladies in Nature. We'll pull that book and we'll do one in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat. What I'll do is if I finish this before Sunday's colouring chat, I'll show you it at the beginning or I'll show you how far I've got with it when we get to when I film Sunday so you can have a look. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.